Welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Welcome back, everyone. We're here today with episode 2471 of the Cabral Concept, our Friday review. If you want to check out all the pertinent show links, research, research, and so much more, head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash 2471. I'll have our Herb of the Week research there, our product review of the week, uh, which is healthy candy. I'll be talking about that in just a moment with Halloween just passing. Uh, two research studies that you're going to want to check out. Uh, one on uh, really, really important actually with even if you're doing like diet sodas and things like that, uh, want to check that out. And then also a specific mineral that's being used for weight loss. I mean, super simple to be able to get this one. You'll want to stay around for that. Uh, and then, of course, I'll be bringing you our podcast recap, what's going on right now, and so much more. All right, so let's dive right into it. Love our Friday review shows. Again, thanks so much for your support of the show, all of your reviews, your subscribes, your shares. It means the world to not just me, but also my team as well. Everyone making this happen behind the scenes. So again, thank you so much. Two million plus downloads per month now of the Cabral concept. We couldn't do it without you, literally. All right, so let's get into it. You know, I know it's been now about two weeks since our big IHP Live World event. Absolutely phenomenal event. 200 uh, practitioners and team members all gathered together. And that was our first big live event. Uh, again, that we just got the photos back. We're starting to get the videos Just so phenomenal being able to relive that. Well, I have gotten no less than 150 direct messages as to when we're going to do it again. Someone wasn't able to make it. Um, Can this be attended by people who are not part of the Integrative Health Practitioner Institute community? And the answer is, yes, we'll be doing it again. Uh, And yes, we're going to actually open it up to equal life based community members. So basically anyone listening to the podcast can actually be a part of this next year's event. We're super excited for it. Um, I do basically one talk each day and then I interview some very interesting health-based entrepreneurs, founders, uh, tech technology-based people, scientists, et cetera, super exciting, like people that I pick that I know that our audience will love. Uh, But next year will actually be all based around health. So if you're interested in health, you're interested in living to 100 plus in a healthy, good quality of life type of way. We'll be talking about longevity for sure. Wait till you have, wait till you see what I have coming in 2023 now, and so much more. So it's going to be for equal life health community, people that are trying to optimize their overall wellness or get well, lose weight, gain weight, live longer. And we're going to do uh, a joint one with the IHP community. So we're going to be, uh, it's going to be really exciting because we're actually going to bring integrative health practitioners. So we're going to bring health coaches together with people that could use help with their health. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. So it's going to be super exciting. Uh, We are already looking at venues because this takes a good, believe it or not, it takes a good eight to nine months minimum to plan an event this big. Um, And just like last year, we capped the tickets. We'll cap the tickets uh, this year too at 500 people. And uh, again, I couldn't be more excited. It's still going to be intimate enough. Even I know 500 seems like a big number, but we're still going to do, you know, like private lunches. Um, And it's not like obviously super, super private but for 150 people um, outside like we did last year, of course, uh, weather permitting and be able to go around, chat with people. That was, it was just so much fun. So yes, we'll be doing it again and uh, we will open it up to this community. People listen to the podcast, people in Equal Life, people in IHP, and it's going to happen late September or early October, 2023. All you need to do is stay tuned to the podcast uh, and as well as my newsletter and you'll see all of the happenings. All right. Uh, we'll keep it at that. I, I've um, something big that I want to share with you right now, though, and that is that it is official. We, Equal Life has brought on their first uh, partner in health. So I like that term, partner in health, because what we're looking to do is Equal Life is an integrative health and functional medicine 
global practice, meaning we work with people all over the world. We ship labs, at-home lab testing, and protocols, nutritional supplements, uh, third-party tested, of course, free of heavy metals, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, to 27 countries around the world. And we can video chat with anybody anywhere in the world. And so we're building out a practitioner platform. We're really trying to be, um, we're trying to be the go-to place for people that want real health advice. So they really want to look for an alternative to the sick care that's being provided uh, in this nation by what we call health care. You know, if, the, if you're not interested in just a pill for every ill and you want to find the underlying root cause and you want to get well, well, that's what we do. And um, of course, we train our integrative health practitioners to do the same. Okay, so that's that. But we're not going to be the company that creates infrared saunas and red light technology and water filters and you know even wearable based devices and so um, we are going to track all of that meaning like we're going to help you understand what your data means and so what I want to share with you is that we our first partner is Therasage they're an amazing company Robbie and Melody have been doing this now for over 30 years they're essentially the originator of the at home pop-up sauna that's one of the only ones that are low to no EMF, meaning if you don't put your back against the battery pack, there's no EMFs. Like it's 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 the best of the best out there because I test saunas. And so um, just a few weeks ago, I gave you my new 30-minute essentially like biohacking routine that I love where I combine red light therapy with sauna uh, with binaural beats. And so I'll link that up today. If you didn't hear that show, I just literally give you exactly what I do. And you can find that all the links today will be at stephencabral.com forward slash 2471. All right. So the nice thing is we're bringing on about a dozen Therasage products right now onto Ecolife. So if you head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash shop, you will see the debut and I believe you'll be able to save 20% off this week while supplies last. So we bought about a dozen different saunas and we bought the um, pitcher, like meaning the water filter that you can put right on your counter. So super easy to use. And um, that's, uh, that's really, really nice, you know, as well. So again, we've got the bio bands. We've got so many great of their, if you've never heard of Therasage, we'll put it this way. You need to check it out. We've got the red lights. We've got the sauna. We've got the water pitchers. We have bio bands. Uh, and we're going to have their brand new debut products that they actually debuted at the IHP World Live event. So definitely stay tuned for those. Uh, I, I can't, I don't know if I'm supposed to give them away yet. That was at the event. So I'm not going to talk about them. I will on future product, uh, product reviews, which I do on Fridays. All right. So check it out. StephenCabral.com forward slash shop. Honestly, you can save 20%. It's a huge, huge savings. And so there are our first partner in health and we will be bringing, uh, hopefully another, I would say half dozen or so to maybe even dozen it, I wouldn't say that many, but a half dozen in 2023. So again, if you are, or even if you're looking to carry uh, Ecolife-based products, give us a shout. Let us know. Just email support at eco.life. If you're a spa, if you're a gym, if you're an F45, if you are a um, health and wellness-based company and you're looking to hold or run functional medicine detoxes and other um, health-based protocols, let us know. We'd love to be able to connect with you. That's the thing is if we all share the same message uh, message of helping people heal and giving people hope that there is an alternative to a pill for every ill, like everybody can win. That's what this is all about. All right. So that is that podcast recap of the week. Let's not forget, we had uh, four shows previous to this one. So how to do less yet achieve more. And basically, I called this the high performer secret. I like to share with you, again, I've worked with multiple billionaires. I mean, that in and of itself is very interesting, right? To be around a billionaire, but then after you're around them for a long enough, and, and I have been, um, that, you know, they're just like, it's honestly, like just like everybody else, honestly. But, but they know a few things that most people don't know, which has led to massive success in certain areas. But it's not just that. I've worked with Olympians and professional athletes and all sorts of, again, high performers. And I share, essentially, they don't have any more hours in the day, how they can actually do less but achieve more. So it's, it's worth checking out for sure. On Tuesday, the telltale sale, signs of a weak immune system. Uh, I also go over on Wednesday the physician diet that was recommended to 9 million patients. So definitely want to check that out. Like this journal, uh, largest uh, healthcare organization, I believe, in the world. 
I, I have that linked. I have the exact journal linked. It, go, it goes out to over, it goes out to tens of thousands of physicians and they're 9 million patients. And they gave a diet that was recommended to essentially um, decrease essentially all, all cause mortality. All right, definitely check that out. And, and it was a controversial show, so we'll save that for the end. All right, and then yesterday's show is the nine worst toxins to watch out for in cookware. So if you cook, if you use a kitchen, you'll want to check out that show as well. And that was episode 2470. So all podcasts can always be found at stephencabral.com forward slash podcast. All right, fun product review of the week. And I have so many big time product reviews coming over the next few weeks. So yes, I know Cyber Week and all those things will be coming, but I have so many big product reviews for you. I'm like literally looking at them in my corner and I have at least 10 weeks worth of products to review for you. Ozonators, I've got healthy toothpaste and bath products over there. What else do I have? Uh, I've got oh uh, a sleep-based one to help you get into a deeper sleep at night. So many more. So you're going to want to check those out for sure. Every Friday, I'll be bringing you a product review. All right. And again, since I am going to be bringing you so many product reviews, I always say like this may be our last herb of the week. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But before I do, let me share with you some healthy candy options. If you go onto my Instagram, and I will link it up today at stephencabral.com forward slash 2471, I did a Halloween post for Instagram. And I basically gave you like a uh, artificial sugary list, right? So like Dum Dum Lollipops, uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, Kit Kats, which are my personal favorite from when I was younger, Starbursts, what else did I do? M&Ms, so a bunch of different candies. But then right below that, that was the bottom row, I believe, uh, or the bottom row, I actually gave you their healthy alternatives. And so what I wanna do is share with you healthier alternatives to the artificial candies. Now again, do these have still have sugar? Yeah, 100% they do. I'm not saying like you should be eating these things every day, but if you have kids, or you have a sweet tooth yourself, and you know that no matter what, like no matter what, you're gonna be having some candy or candy at the office, or maybe your kids will be having it, good to have these on hand. So my daughters brought back, you know, they went to the houses and they brought back tons of candy. Now, back in the day, what we used to do is we let them choose one. That was basically it, one, maybe two, but usually just one. And, um, and that's what they could have. And then we're just like, you know what? We don't, Inside of these things are hydrogenated oils, artificial sugar, artificial flavors, artificial colors, genetically modified organisms such as the corn oil. And yes, if it's every once in a while, I know probably no big deal. So I get it. I totally hear you on that. And again, never any judgment on my part. But why not allow my daughters to have a couple things if they want. It's Halloween. I'm allowing them to be kids. I don't want them to feel deprived. So when they get older, it doesn't lead to any, you know, psychological based issues. So what my wife did was she actually did an amazing job at finding one for ones. And I'm going to share with you, with you those right now. So um, in terms of M&Ms, there are two companies that you could go with. The first one that many people have heard about is called Unreal candies, okay? So usually with M&Ms, you'd have all sorts of artificial flavors and colors. You don't want to put paint in your body or your child's body. And that's what the colors are. When you see, you know, the reds and the blues and the yellow uh, fives and all these things, you don't want that in your body. Tr trust me, that is a neurological nightmare. So when you look in the front of the package, you're seeing non-GMO colors from natural sources, fair trade, and so what do the colors come from? So instead of it being paint, what do, they, what do they have in there? Okay, well, they have beet juice for red. They have spirulina for blue. And uh, that's what the two colors are here right here for these red and blue. And then you mix them together, actually, beet juice and spirulina, and you get purple. All right, so this company is called Unreal. Um, about the same amount of sugar. It's not like it's radically different, but just healthier choices. And when you eat the chocolate, it's actually... Uh, better quality chocolate for you. Okay, so I think there's even some organic uh, cane sugar, organic quinoa crisps for the crunchy ones. Okay, and then there's another company for uh, M&Ms, and this one's called Yum Earth. So if you're watching this on video, you can see me holding these up. These are individual packets. These are kind of nice because um, it's a hundred calorie packet, and it's free of eggs, gluten, peanuts, tree nuts, shellfish. Uh, let's see what else, regular fish, soy, and dairy. So this one, 
Uh, again, pretty much the same types of ingredients as the Unreal. They use turmeric for their yellows and oranges, black currant uh, for their darker ones, radish, sweet potato. So that's where they're getting their colors from. And then, of course, it's chocolate, all right? So these are the two M&M Reese's peanut butter cups, right? Everybody loves their Reese's peanut butter cups. I'm telling you, if you eat a Reese's peanut butter cup and you haven't eaten them for like 10 years, 20 years, you have one, it tastes so artificial. It doesn't even taste like real peanut butter, right? So here's the thing. A lot of, com a lot of people know this company. They've been around a long time. Justin's, right? My wife loves Justin's, all right? She's a big fan. And uh, let's see what they have right here. These are the ingredients. Organic dark chocolate, organic peanut butter, organic cane sugar, organic peanut flour, organic palm oil, sea salt, organic sunflower lecithin. So that's it. So this right here is obviously a USDA organic and uh, a much healthier choice for your peanut butter cups. All right, so that one's Justin's. We already went through that. Oh, I'll, save, I'll save the best for last. All right, so your kids go out and they see all the different colorful lollipops. All right, well, this one... This company is called Yum Earth. I just talked about them. They've got a lot of special candies and much, much healthier. This one's USDA organic. Of course, that it's also non-GMO. Uh, this one is Mango Tango, but they make all sorts of different flavors of lollipops, all right? So there you have it, Yum Earth. And the last one, saving the best for last. When I was a kid, my favorite candy was Kit Kats. Always Kit Kats. I loved Andy Mints too, but those only came around was it for Christmas? Yeah, Christmas. But anyway, <laughs> I started to drift back into my childhood taste buds. All right, so this one right here is basically a Kit Kat. I mean, if you've never had one of these, they're unbelievable. Definitely gluten in it, though. I'm pretty sure it has to have gluten because it's a wafer. But they basically sea salted uh, Kit Kats. And it's by a company called Little Secrets. And this is a tiny one. I definitely recommend getting the little packets so that you can just have a taste if you just want a little taste. And this is non-GMO, of course, um, but it's dark chocolate and it is um, cocoa butter and wh rich wheat. Yep, so that's where the wheat is. Palm oil, sugar, uh, skim cocoa powder, and cane fiber sea salt. So again, pretty harmless. Little Secrets is the name of the company, 30% less sugar than a leading crispy wafer. And it's, uh, again, by Little Secrets. They also make, which, by the way, I'd love to show you one of these on video. They were already gone. They make Milky Ways, too, healthy Milky Ways. My daughters loved those. Oh, and they make a Twix version as well. So, again, you can do all of these things a lot healthier if you want. You just have to know where to look, so hopefully this was helpful. All right, so that is our healthy candy review of the week. Now you go back six years. Did I ever think I'd be reviewing candy on my podcast? Probably not, but you know, as they say, desperate times call for desperate measures, so hopefully this is helpful. All right, let's go over our herb of the week. We'll make this one uh, short, and that is because... I want to bring you two great research studies, but there is one main reason you use this herb. And it's called Cascara Sagrada. If anybody is familiar with Ayurvedic medicine, this is one of the number one herbs that is used for constipation and as a laxative. So, again, you want you don't want very very important to give you a little disclaimer. If you have constipation, you want to run something called the bacterium parasite stool test. You want to figure out why you might be constipated. Is it bacterial overgrowth, bacterial imbalance, candida overgrowth, H. pylori, so there's not proper stomach acid, parasites, which honestly usually causes loose stool though, uh, more than constipation. Uh, but there might be something wrong, you know, with the gut itself. Now, it could be stress. Stress can lead to both loose stool and constipation, lack of fiber in the diet, dehydration, and so much more. But what I want to share with you is this. We do something called an intestinal cleanse. Different than a detox. A lot of people like to call cleanses detoxes. They are not. Functional medicine detoxes ramp up liver, phase one and phase two production uh, of specific uh, conjugation, basically to remove toxins from your body. But a Cleanse is basically removing bacteria, stool, et cetera, from the bowels. And it's very, very helpful. So again, if someone is doing a functional medicine detox and they want to use an intestinal cleanse, they can, or the CBO protocol for their gut or parasite protocol, you can do that. So there's a time and place for these things. There absolutely are. And during the CBO protocol and during our parasite protocol, we absolutely do recommend, even even our mold protocol, we recommend an intestinal cleanse. Well, uh, it's, I mean, literally ours is just called the intestinal cleanse, nothing fancy there. Um, you can find out more about that at stephencabral.com forward slash shop. That'll just send you over to the Equal Life store. 
it's probably though stephencabral.com forward slash intestinal dash cleanse if I had to you know, think about what the URL was. But just keep in mind, we can't link these things up on the show notes page. It's against FDA and FTC regulations. Uh, but what you just want to look for is the intestinal cleanse-based products. And Cascara Sagrada though, and you can even do it separately because you can get Cascara Sagrada tea if you wanted to use this. And Cascara Sagrada tea, depending on the strength, will either cause um, you know, a bowel movement within 30 to 60 minutes, but most likely the way that we like to do it is actually just to get the bowels going. So it's not like an immediate, oh, run to the bathroom effect. It's over the next, let's say, uh, six to 12 hours, you'll have a normal bowel movement. So it's a really great product. Um, it's not as strong as its, let's call it cousin, Senna. So if you've ever seen Senna pod, Senna leaf, Senna is a much stronger laxative. You wanna be more careful with that. We absolutely do use that in our intestinal cleanse, uh, but I just wanna share with you that um, it is stronger. We'll just put it that way. So we use it, we absolutely believe in it. We wouldn't do it without it, but if you're looking for something that's more mild, Cascara Sagrada, if you just wanna go with a straight tea, you can absolutely do that. You'll often see the actual plant um, as uh, buckthorn bark too. So it's in the same family as buckthorn. So Cascara Sagrada, buckthorn, very closely related, very good for constipation and as an herbal-based laxative, all right? That is that. I just have a note for you that I have stacks of books as well. So once the Herb of the Week uh, moves on from this year, I'll be getting back to reviewing so many of the books I have in the queue to go over with you too. I know many people have been asking for that. All right, last two of the day is our research. And this one literally says, another reason to give up sugary soda. Okay, well this research is out of the Washington University uh, in St. Louis, Missouri. And it was published, it was done on a study of more than 95,000 women and published in gut. All right, so this is what it says. Um, Drinking two or more sweetened drinks per day more than doubles your risk for early onset colorectal cancer. Each additional drink. So think about this as like Pepsi, Coca-Cola, uh Energy drinks, people don't like to drink energy drinks or don't like to think energy drinks are a part of this. They are. Each additional drink adds another 16% increase in risk. That's mean that so you're already doubling with two of these soft drinks per day. Add another 16% increase with every additional soda. So not ideal. But if you replace these sugary and artificially sweetened, again, keep in mind it's not just the sugary ones. It is the low pH. Uh, even artificially sweetened drinks as well. That affects the, essentially, cancer growth in the colon, all right? So in your large intestine. And this is really important, especially for women as well. All right, so uh, let's see. If you replace it with uh, water and uh, you lower your risk by at least 36%. So pretty impressive. Like, I mean, you can just do a complete swing from basically doubling to then reducing your overall risk if you're drinking water, and it says here, even some uh, coffee as well. So pretty nice. Now, I wanna share with you just one, one note on this, is that this is on a near daily basis. If you're one of those people that says, well, like once a week I like to do that, I still can't say it's good for you. It's like alcohol. I still can't say it's good for you, but every once in a while, you're probably okay. Again, I can't recommend it. Don't think it's a good idea, but you know, I know how some people have these favorite things, like I was just talking about the candy, and like they just don't enjoy life to the same level without them. I would urge you to try to replace it with a healthier version of it, but at the end of the day, um, your whole goal is to cut it down to as infrequently as humanly possible. All right, I'll link that research study up today as well uh, at stephencabral.com forward slash 2471. Last one of the day, this one's important. All right, this was done by Dr. Andrew Rubin, naturopathic doctor, and this was done where? Southern Sudbury Clinic uh, for traditional, traditional Medicines out of Southbury, Connecticut. And where was it? Uh, it was complementary researches out of the Oren Trike Foundation for the Advancement of Science. Okay, very nice. So here's what it said. Uh, mice fed high-fat diets live longer and were less obese if their diet included selenium. Okay, interesting. The selenium group also showed physiological benefits similar to consuming a vegan diet. This is just with selenium. By the way, selenium is a mineral that boosts your thyroid. 
helps with metabolism. Powerful antioxidant, help with liver detoxification. Doesn't say this in the study, but I just wanted to share that with you. So selenium known as, is known to decrease gut inflammation, which contributes to weight gain. You can also get selenium through nuts and fish and beef and poultry. Selenium supplements are also available. The safe upper limit for selenium is 400 micrograms per day. You have to keep in mind that again, a lot of times conventional medicine, even a lab cannot find their way out of like literally a, a paper bag. <laughs> I mean that the nicest way possible. Selenium, besides the gut, yes, it's good for the gut, but it is unbelievably beneficial for the metabolism through the thyroid because selenium helps better convert T4 to T3. So it basically helps you make more usable thyroid. And if you make more usable thyroid, it basically cranks up your thermostat, improves circulation, improves fat burning, uh, total calories able to be consumed, uh, improves cholesterol levels if you have higher levels due to low thyroid, helps with hair growth, and so much more. So again, I just want to bring this to you. We use selenium in our daily thyroid support. We use it in our fat loss and weight loss system. And the reason why I mention those two is because even though this science just came out how long ago? Well, this was basically less than 12 months ago or around 12 months ago. Um, Natural health has known this for years because when you understand how human physiology works, you understand what you can do in a positive way, an impactful way, and in a healthy way in order to move that physiology. So I just wanted to share that with you that everything natural health does is also based on science. Conventional medicine doesn't own science, uh, but it is nice to see whenever they reinforce what we do know. So just make sure that you are getting some good quality selenium in your diet. The easiest way, of course, um, is just to use your daily nutritional support powder. And if you want, just take one Brazil nut a day. Um, I have my, my thyroid course at stevencabral.com forward slash courses. Part of the thyroid smoothie is just literally adding one Brazil nut if you like that to your smoothie. And, and that will give you a lot of selenium as well if you're not doing additional supplementation as well. So Hopefully this was helpful. A lot of information today, and uh, today was a little bit of a longer one. I had a lot to get in there. Hopefully it was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning into the show. Of course, if it was helpful, do feel free to share it with anyone you believe it could serve. Take care, everybody. Before you go, I wanted to share a personal story with you. The real reason I began to get well finally is because I figured out what was wrong with me. And that might seem pretty obvious, but I went from doctor to doctor for over two years before discovering at-home functional medicine lab testing. These are the labs that enabled me to finally figure out what was wrong with my hormones, blood sugar, electrolytes, and gut health. And once I knew what was wrong, I could then follow a proven plan in order to rebalance my body from the inside out. This is why I believe so strongly in functional medicine lab testing and why I've made it my mission to share these labs with the world. Now at equa.life, you can order an at-home lab test or lab bundle for you and your family and be able to complete it within the week. Plus, the equal life difference is that you're not left to try to read and figure out these labs on your own. We explain what your lab numbers mean, what they mean in the much bigger picture, and then how to go about rebalancing your body in order to heal. To see our full selection of lab tests or to set up a free lab selection call to find out what labs may be best for you, simply head on over to equa.life forward slash labs. And do remember, we ship these all over the world. To find out more and to set up your free lab selection call, simply head on over to equa.life forward slash labs. That's E-Q-U-I dot L-I-F-E forward slash labs.